I would like to take a few moments to show you how to use a brand new tool that's on the market called the Easy Disc Brake Tool, which consists of four different parts. But first I just want to tell you that this is mainly for repairing your disc brake pads and to make it easy that you can do it yourself. The four parts are the bar, the screw, the nut, and the coupling. In assembling the Easy Disc Brake Tool, first you take the bar and the screw fits through the hole. Then you take the nut, screw it on, and then you use a 9 16 wrench and screw it on tightly. And then the coupling screws on last. Now you're ready to use the Easy Disc Brake Tool to repair your brakes. For the purpose of our demonstration, we've, sh we've set up a model to show you how to use the Easy Disc Brake Tool. In a minute, we'll show you exactly where these parts are located on the car. Before using the Easy Disc Brake Tool, you have to remove your brake pads. Now you're ready to insert the Easy Disc Brake Tool. And by using a 9 16 wrench, you loosen the coupling which pushes the piston back into the cavity. There's a built-in safety feature with the Easy Disc Brake Tool. If there's anything wrong with your caliper system, the Easy Disc Brake Tool will not work properly. It will either bend or break this bar right here. And if the bar breaks, you need to notify your mechanic immediately so that your car can get the attention that it needs. And now we'll show you exactly where the parts are located on the car. First you remove your tire and the caliper is located right behind the tire. We just want to stress how easy it is to use the Easy Disc Brake Tool. You don't have to be a mechanic. I'm not a mechanic, but from what you've seen, you can see how simple it is to use this tool and with the extra safety feature, how special this tool really is in fixing your disc brakes by yourself.